crazy. All right. All right. We, uh, sorry to keep everybody waiting. My apologies. Um, I'd like to call the, or the, the Board of Assessment Review to order this uh, Thursday, Halloween, 4 p. 4.05 p.m. And Tracy, could we have a roll call, please? Mr. Cloutier? Here. Mr. Sanctus? Here. Ms. Torrens? Here. Mr. Chamberlain? Present. Mr. Parkinson? Here. Mr. Peters? Here. Um, okay, may we start with the Pledge of Allegiance, please? <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. The next item on the agenda is the approval of the minutes from the October 21st Board of Assessment Review meeting. I move we approve as written. Okay. Do I have a, a second? second? Second on that. Any discussion on those minutes? Hearing none, all in favor? All right. Carried. All right, which brings us to the main item on the agenda today, which is the continuation of the appeal for uh, Foxcroft Apartments LLC and, and others. Um, we, upon our last meeting on the 21st, we uh, put together um, as a, as a uh, board some of the findings of facts which were, have been compiled and this notice of a decision uh, and uh, compiled by uh, our attorney's office and then subsequently sent to everybody. So I guess this is the time where we need to review that. Um, if anyone wants to add anything, amend uh, anything, and we'll take, usually we'll kind of take them in um, maybe some chunks in approval at a time instead of individually. Okay. Mm -hmm. One, one thing I noticed on the sure. first page, it says case numbers, and I um, didn't put all the case numbers in. There's like seven case numbers, and I can I can do that. Okay. Very good. At the very top in bold. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, yes. All right. All right. Would anybody like to, to either add or subtract or delete or modify anything that they have in front of them? at this point. Um, so in the second paragraph, a couple of things. Um, starting in a nutshell? Hmm? That paragraph in a nutshell? Yes, starting in a nutshell, yes. Um, there was the sentence about, um, as a result of the initial revaluation of this class of properties, illegally bore the brunt of increased assessments. I'm wondering if that should be unjustly or if illegally is the best choice of words there. And also... Um, so you're saying to add unjustly where? In place of illegally? Maybe in place of illegally. Because well, that true, was the claim. True, the law does talk about just value, so it, was, it would be unjustly too. I mean, that, that could work. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't... I, I think that's, that's one of the criteria for our... Our, our concerns, right? I right. think, uh, you know, one of the three criteria that meets the standard. So unjustly is, is a good word. It would work well. Add both? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if we need to add both. We, I just change it to unjustly. Yeah, it be unjustly and therefore illegally, or but you know, however right. you want to do it. All right. Um, <coughs> residential properties, uh, that, that section, instead of re-evaluated, revalued. Revalued, yes, thank you. And the, uh, the rest of that whole sentence is a little, the effectively eliminating moving forward, that phrase is just... Um, it's a little wordy. Yeah. Effectively eliminating moving And kind of doesn't, I, I can't really make sure I understand what that means. Effectively eliminating moving forward the alleged discrimination. What I'm trying to say is that once the second phase was uh, done, that the alleged discrimination was, was, was sort of over at that point because okay. one, oh, one yeah. class wasn't uh, like stepped up fast, gotcha. faster. They, they, were, they were sort of merged 
Maybe you um, just take out the moving forward. Effectively yeah. eliminating, the eliminating the alleged discrimination. Yeah, I think the moving forward. Yeah. Confused two extra words. Yeah. <coughs> it's a member of the redundancy redundancy club. Oh, we get paid by the word, you know. <laughs> you get paid by the word. <laughs> I have two potential things. Please, on the next page, on the findings of fact, yeah. number three. Um, the first one is that uh, three lines down, revaluation versus reevaluation. Where, where are you? Sorry. So, uh, number three? findings of fact number three. Yep. Is it revaluation versus reevaluation? I think it should be revaluation. Re evaluation. And then further on in that same line, it seems we say address twice. So would have addressed that address. Oh, yeah, thank yes. Yes. Bill check doesn't pick that up. And I think we may want to in that um, in that same finding address that it uh, would have financed a townwide revaluation in a single year. Uh, number at three? Some place, yeah. Yeah, after the word revaluation, I'll put in a single year. Good Nick, did you have another one point? It was just those two, revaluation and address. Yeah, address. <coughs> okay, we're good. Anybody else? Um, it's just a minute here, because I know I had some other ones, but I couldn't print and make notes, so I'm trying to remember all my notes. Number six, revaluation again. Yeah. And seven. Yes. Yeah. And number eight, can we add the e evaluation? Yes. <laughs> you can put an e back in there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get that straight. I got into uh, the other night into the board did not air E E R E E O R. You know. All right. Well, so um, the the con in the conclusion section. Yeah. The assessment is manifestly, you know, where the taxpayers must show that the assessment is manifestly wrong. Um, isn't wasn't there something that was more appropriate as far as what the I'm trying to I don't have my sheet in front of me here. Well, um, that's a kind of the big umbrella statement. Is that the big umbrella and then, statement? And then um, it drills down to I'm I'm trying to then be more specific about a discrimination okay. claim where um, it's the assessment system. Necessarily result in a just apportionment, and that, that then I also talk about the applied. Is the question is whether similarly situated properties were assessed at drastic lower value. Okay. So borrowing heavily from your own regs, and gotcha. except Good. in a couple of cases, updating with more modern cases like this Rogue Island, Rock yes. Island. Just right wanted now. to make sure of that. Okay. It's like but that's the right place to be, I think, is with your, your regs. Okay. And you'll see in the comment in the conclusion section a lot of your own words and kind of come in hopefully. Mm -hmm. Um, you have another re-evaluation in the paragraph that starts off the board determined. Yeah, I would do a search on all re-evaluation yeah. yeah. so that you or re-evaluate just to catch them all because there are several. Yeah. Um, did we...
did we need to include anything more regarding the fact that, uh, you know, I'm thinking primarily in paragraph two on the page four, um, that just explains that we felt it was appropriate to conduct the two-stage revaluation. But there was Part. legal standard. You're saying should we add the legal standard that a case law came up with? Well, we say that in the conclusion, don't we? Above, I say partial uh, revaluations are recognized as legal under Maine law if they achieve greater equality. Uh, I'm just wondering if we need to add anything in about the fact that the reason that, we, you know, again, a full town reevaluation could not be done at once was due to the, you know, some kind of financial or, you know, could not be afforded in one tax year or something like that. I don't know if we need to have, add, yeah. add that in there just as a justification. If, not. It's just a thought. Given the voters' rejection on the town-wide revaluation in 2014, the board concluded that it made sense to conduct a, a revaluation in two phases over two years. Yeah. All right. That's right. We're all set there. <coughs> that made sense. I think I got from. Yeah. Oh yeah. I just hadn't. I, I, I missed that. You <laughs> made sense. Which they were done back to back, right? I mean, right, that's your point. That was the point. Yes, the point. they were years yep. apart. Yep. Yep, I've got nothing else. Um, on the paragraph, the board further concluded that it was problematic to hold back the results of the first phase until the second phase was completed because it creates a moving target where the numbers constantly adjusting. Well, we, there was some discussion on that part that if we did it the other way around, we that have, yeah. we could be greater. Uh, the we could have the um, someone representing the residential side. The point was definitely made. Greater inequity. Uh, yeah. Well, and residential was already higher. Pardon? Residential was already a, a higher uh, valuation. To no, start I mean, with. yeah, but if we held off on 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 the implementation once we we had the the non-residential valuation, that could create additional Great. legal problems. Um, I'm not sure we that, that we did talk about that. I don't know, yeah, I thought about it. I'm not sure it really prudent. Yeah, I mean, it, it just it was a, a, like almost a. I, I, irony that you were in a rock and a hard place. That if yeah. if if yeah. okay. it had done the reverse, it would have probably been a case here by a different well, class. Right. But I, I think if we had done it in reverse, there would have been a greater inequity. Yeah, because the overall the, was eight thousand properties. The, it would have actually increased the gap between that, the two that's, properties. That's my point. And that's oh, that yeah. is, I think, a valid point that might yeah. want to be that, That's the only included. point. I don't think it's yeah. because we would have somebody else sitting in the lawyer seat. I think, right, right. I, yeah, I don't think that matters. Pro. Yeah. I think it's, you know, the choice to move in this particular order was to <laughs> minimize the gap rather than increase it. the order of the revaluation would have actually increased the inequity between the classes. Yes. Should that be tied to the number seven on finding effects or could you make it to <coughs> that might be a good place. Mm -hmm. yeah, that might be a good place to put it under seven. Mm -hmm. Reversing the order of the Revaluation. Yeah, either that or it might actually be warranted as number 10 because the 7, 8, and 9 are all very similar. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it could be a standalone 10. We'll make that a 10. Yeah, why don't we do that? Yep. Yeah. All right. Reversing the order of, of the revaluation would have increased the inequity. 
Yeah, you might even just say reversing the order of the phases, as, since that's already being used as a phases of the revaluation. Yeah. Should there, should there be anything in there referencing the town's attempt to get a statewide referendum to try and get the budget necessary? Oh, oh it's, in it's in here. It's in here. The town the line. Line. Yeah, that's already there. It's already yeah. here. Where did I miss that? Um, the paragraph three. That was paragraph three. Yeah, yeah, three. The town voters rejected oh, the referendum okay. Okay. question. Thank you. Yeah, we've got that in three, and then we've also got it in the third to last paragraph on the conclusion. Yeah, it's also The third to last paragraph of the conclusion should be taxpayers S apostrophe contention. Where? The taxpayers, the board disagreed with the taxpayers' contention that this was an ad hoc valuation. I think it should be S. Yes. Should be what? What are we changing? We're just putting an apostrophe after the taxpayers. Yeah. Oh. Syntax error. Mm -hmm. You're going to get me on something. I'm like, you read it exactly as it was stated. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Apostrophes. Okay. Um, For consistency on the, the first line after decision, uh, the apostrophe is in the wrong place as well, I believe. Okay. Where Where's are the, you? On the word taxpayers oh, yeah. the, after decision, that first line. Gotcha. Just moving the apostrophe. Yeah, because, because it is decision. plural. <laughs> and don't you date it today as opposed to tomorrow? We could, we could, but he's not going to sign it today. That's the only. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I could put as of October 3rd. Yeah. No, it's just that I saw November and I knew it wasn't, so that's fine. That's the last paragraph of the board. Uh, voted unanimously to allow the chair to oh, sign this yeah. notice of decision. Mm -hmm. With any... It was understood that any... Made minor revision. Yeah, you know, if a apostrophe doesn't turn out in the new or draft... <laughs> or eval. You can... Okay. You can reject it. Eval. <laughs> and you make it. Okay. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Anything else? Um, we can kind of pick the apart a little bit here and clean it up from our uh, original comments that we were in the last Very meeting. Uh, having said that, then um, why don't we why don't we take it piecemeal and vote on it? Uh, unless anybody has any other comments on uh, the. Um, Exhibit A is, is a document that you've seen, I think it was attached to it, so there's a mm -hmm. memo that just has all the properties and the tax and map uh -huh. loss number. I just thought it was easier to yeah. do that than Makes sense. put too much info on the first page. All right, so uh, just you know, maybe this. just do the whole, so you can do the introduction and procedural history as well. So. Yeah. Okay, why don't we do that? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll vote on the introduction and procedural history, which you know, up until the finding of facts, and in that we already had made a couple uh, corrections. We're going to add unjust, unjustly, um, in that paragraph that's, that's in a nutshell. Unjustly bore the brunt of increased assessments, and we're going to change all the uh, re-evaluated to revalued. Um, I think there was only, only one change in that first part. Took out the word. Mm -hmm. And then the moving forward. Yeah, we took, yeah, we took that out. Right. We took one out. And that's it? Took one out? Yeah. Moving, the word yeah, moving, moving forward. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. We took out moving forward. Correct. All right, but without those one, two, three changes in that first part, is everyone... Uh, we have a motion Here, to... I'll make a motion that we accept as you've just outlined with those changes. The second? Second. Second, all right. Any further comments? All right, here we go. All in favor? All right, any opposed? No, unanimous. All right, thank you. All right, so now let's go to the second part. We'll do the finding of facts. 
Maybe we can take uh, the first three. So none of those had any any corrections or changes in them. The taxpayers own the properties. Three does. Pardon? Three has changes in it. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Three does have changes. Yeah, we say in a single year and taking out the second that address. phrase. Yeah. Revaluation changing in a single year yeah. of all the classes and taking out the, the uh, that address. Addressed. addressed. Okay. Uh, four kind of goes along with that, except uh, 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 April 1st. Um, so why don't we do one through four here, which, which pretty much um, I think we all can agree to, you know, it, with those uh, changes that we just mentioned. All right. Yep. May we have a motion? I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second. One through four. Second. Mm -hmm. All right. Any further comments, discussions? All right, all in favor? All right, none opposed. Carried, one through four. And now, uh, number five, we didn't have any changes in that, talking about the classes, commercial and industrial properties would be assessed significantly lower. And number six, the town decided to connect a, we're changing the word evaluation, reevaluation there. Uh, Seven again, the reevaluation there. Why don't we take five, six, seven, and eight, nine together? The rest of those, unless it is a vote with those with those changes I just mentioned, and, and we'll take ten. we'll add ten separately. Okay, yep. we're, we're, it's a new okay. language. I always want to conserve sure. the language. So we're going to do five through nine. Nine. I'll make a motion we approve five through nine as um, with these minor changes that you just mentioned. Second, please. Second. Second, Second Matt. All right. Any further discussion on those? All in favor? All right. Accepted. None opposed. All right. And number 10. Uh, do, 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 give me the exact wording that you Reversing have. the order of the phases of the revaluation would have increased the in inequity. Everyone okay with that language and it keeps the inequity of it? I was wondering, is it is it up the inequity of the classes or the inequity of between residential and non-residential? I mean, don't we have to clarify yeah, what the inequity, the inequity is inequity of? Between residential and non-residential. Well, I'm about to say between the classes. Okay. Okay. You want to read that one more time? Reversing the order of the phases of the reevaluation would have increased the inequity between the classes. I think everybody knows what the classes is. That's yeah. What yeah. I mean. They're addressed elsewhere. Yeah. All right, everyone okay with that? Yep. yep. With motion to approve. Number 10, we're adding a number 10. Do you have a motion to add that? Motion to approve number 10. As, As stated. stated. Second. Good. Second, Matt. Thank you very much. All in favor? All right, none opposed. Thank you. All right. We're in the conclusions area of this now. Um, much might be able to take this all at once. Other the other than re evaluation changing. And a couple of common uh apostrophes. Right? You could probably do that as a one. Yeah. One conclusion. Yeah, yeah, I think you can do the whole thing. The motion yeah. to approve the conclusion with corrections of uh, grammar and with a revaluation and uh, punctuation. Appraisal. All right. Thank you. Second? I'll second. Second. Uh, any discussion? Further on that? All right. Hearing none. All in favor? All right. Approved. Conclusions have been approved. And finally, uh, according to the board, um, we need now to vote on the whole thing to deny the taxpayer's appeal and affirm the evaluation of the board. And I have a motion on that. Yep. Motion to deny the taxpayer's appeal and affirm the valuation vote. Of the property. I'll second that. Second, thank you very much. All in favor? No opposed? All right. The, um, we have voted to deny the taxpayer's appeal, and the board also, we need a vote to allow uh, the chair to sign this notice of decision. Any 
Oh, I'm not Minor sure we should do that. <laughs> 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 Sorry, we're going to just leave this stuck in, in, <laughs> in limbo. I'll make say. a motion that we allow the chair to sign. <laughs> I'll second. All right. All in favor? <laughs> Thank you. I just saw something, the valuation of, I should probably say, of the properties. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Where are you? Um, oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. Tracy, can I give you this exhibit A? And you need to add the case numbers to yeah, yeah, it. Mm -hmm. okay, All right. Uh, is there anything um, else of the business that needs to come, Tracy? We usually look to you at this time. Um, the only other things we have is uh, Thursday, November 14th for, I don't know how to say, a Boasburg. I have not received anything in writing, so as far as I'm concerned, that's still on the books. And then Monday, November 18th for Piper Shores. Yeah. And the and both of them at 6 p.m. Both of them what? Both of them at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. 6 p.m. Right, I'm going to have a problem on the 18th. I'm not going to be at home, by the way. Wasn't Jocelyn Road settled? Tracy? I have no comment on that. I oh. Okay. Rain was yes. Rain has been withdrawn, but Boasburg or however it is you say it Just is need, not as of right now. Okay. Not that I have not that the clerk's office has not received anything in writing on it. Oh. Okay. All right. So, I, my understanding is that both sides have signed. I represent Boasburg okay. in that matter. My understanding <laughs> is that. The assessor has signed, my client has signed, we do have a settlement agreement. Okay. What do I need to do? I want you? something in writing from you stating that. Like you did for, for rain. Yes, ma'am. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and then we won't have to worry about the November 14th meeting. Yeah, you can change the 18th okay. or 14th. We, if, Piper, if Piper Shores is acceptable yeah. for that, we can Are you going to Piper Shores too? Or? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, you got that big glutton for punishment? <laughs> I'm trying to get your work done. Right. No, no, really, I appreciate it. So, so do you need to fill in the 14th with anything else? Well, I'm not going to be able to be here the 18th. I'm actually going to be out of town. and okay. so, um, I can check with the um, taxpayers and see if the 14th works. Would you do that? Why don't yep. we do that? And uh, okay. if not, well, I just won't be here. Okay. Okay, so we'll take it off my calendar. Yes. Yeah, yes. We'll take it off yet. All right. Um, I want to thank both the taxpayer of the town for your time being here um, and the board for your patience and uh, getting this through. Bearwood, your thank you. This is always the best. Um, I want to wish everyone a happy Halloween tonight. <laughs> Matt, have fun with the friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you. 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 Th